When it comes to treasure hunting, they say X marks the spot. Yes, even Indiana Jones confirmed this in his last crusade. So it seems appropriate that this year's Great Australian Coin Hunt has a coloured X coin to search for. It looks like the Great Australian Coin Hunt is an annual event now. Australia Post release a set of 26 $1 coins into circulation, with each coin having a letter from A to Z and an Australian icon to match that letter. This year, 2022, is the third year. The first was 2019, and then 2020 happened, so the second alphabet coin set was released in 2021. I have to say, I reckon the coin designs are getting better every time. Here's a comparison between the letter A coins from 2019, 2021, and this year. Now I've had a lot of queries from collectors about this set, so I've tried to answer all the questions I've received in this video. Just to confirm, I'm not promoting this set, this is just information for collectors. So what do you need to know? Well, the rules are pretty much the same as previous years. First up, you can gather the set of all 26 coins two ways. You can get individual coins at face value in your change when you shop at Australia Post. However, some people don't shop at Australia Post enough to get all the coins that way. So the easier way is to buy the tube of all 26 coins for $47. Now while this means that you're paying more than face value for the coins, there are a couple of benefits to buying the tube. First up, obviously it saves you time completing the whole set. Secondly, there are some bonuses on offer with the tubes. As with previous years, there's a special coin to collect that's randomly inserted into the tubes. It seems to be one in every 10 tubes has this special coin, same as last year. As I mentioned earlier, this year there's a coloured version of the X coin. Now this coloured X coin is not going into circulation, and it has a different design to the standard X coin. So I've put the two coins side by side so you can see the difference. It's also worth noting that the head side of the coloured coin is different to all the standard coins, as it has $1 under the Queen's portrait. Now if you buy the tubes from Australia Post before June 5, there's a special QR code that you can scan and enter to win a daily prize of $1,000. It seems that they really want us to open our tubes instead of keeping them sealed. Finally, as with previous years, there's also a folder that comes with the $47 set. The folder costs $7 by itself, but it's free when you buy the tube, and it's a great souvenir for the coin hunt. As I mentioned, you can also get the coins at face value in your change when you make a purchase at Australia Post. However, it can be a tough slog to get all 26 coins. The post office staff get these coins in random bags, so it's not always possible for them to find the coins you need. So be kind to the Australia Post staff, as they're more likely to help you if you're friendly. However, if you get to the end of May and you've not managed to complete your set of 26, don't panic. You can buy single letter coins from Australia Post for $3 each to complete your collection. The single coins come in these little wallets, and you can pick and choose which letters you get. In line with previous years, there will also be a silver proof set released later this year for all 26 coins. In November, according to the Stamp Bulletin. And finally, given that it's a treasure hunt, it seems appropriate to let you know that the digital copy of the Pirate Guide has already been updated with images of these new coins. So if you've purchased the digital Pirate Guide, check for an email from me with the link where you can download the updated version. If you'd like to buy a copy of the digital Pirate Guide, there's a link below this video. So, in summary, here are the key takeaways. Firstly, the Alphabet coins are now available from Australia Post stores and also online at Australia Post, the Royal Australian Mint, and coin dealers. Secondly, if you want the coins at face value instead of paying the $47 for the tube, ask someone who pays a lot of bills or postage at Australia Post to collect the coins for you, or be very very nice to the Australia Post staff as they can sometimes help you find the coins you're after. If there are any coins that you still need when the promotion ends, you can still buy single letter coins for $3 each. Thirdly, if you buy and open the tube, check for the coloured X coin. If your tube has it, it'll be sitting on top of the coins. And finally, for images of these coins and all the other coins in circulation in high quality, check out the Digital Pirate Guide. There's a link below this video. Happy hunting.